C++, notorious for being the hardest programming language. Some say that when you compile a C++ program, you grow a third testicle. I will be trying C++ to see how it compares to other languages like Rust and C Sharp. Is it worth learning today and is it as bad as people say? I also use co-crafters who have kindly partnered with me to help become familiar with C++ by working on their grep challenge, so I'll be talking about my experience with this as well. Okay, first impressions, what the fuck is with libraries and compiling? It sucks. Okay, I get some people like this, but me personally, I'm not a fan. On the brighter side, Codecrafters made this project a lot easier to work on. Their structured challenges gave me all I needed to work on the project. It was as simple as changing the code, pushing to git, and the tests would happen automatically to see if I passed that stage. Okay, so surprisingly, after figuring out how the fuck to compile my program, I got a few hours into C++ and I didn't want to end myself yet. As I worked on the grep challenge, I actually found that with prior low level experience, the language was pretty easy to pick up. There's a lot of stupid stuff in C++ that you just kind of have to get used to by the looks of it. It's kind of like, it's got high level concepts, but it's sprinkled with low level shit that you have to deal with. Nothing against Rust, but it's really nice being able to write code freely without having to worry about upsetting the borrow checker. It's also nice to see what is actually happening in memory, rather than just guessing. The syntax is pretty similar to other languages, and I especially like how you write classes, separating the definitions and implementations into different files. Also, something that really helped me learn was being able to look at the code examples on Codecrafters for each challenge stage, as I could compare my code directly to others to see where I could improve. There are so many different ways to do the same thing in C++, and seeing other people's code allowed me to style my code how I like. Codecrafters is really great for those who like to dig straight in and start writing complex software in a way that is digestible, rather than trying to reverse engineer everything first. It also gets you working independently by reading articles that they provide, rather than being spoon-fed all the information. And it's really rewarding being able to see your progress and as you work on your projects. Yes, it works. It works. It does exactly what I want it to do. Ah, oh, that's so good. So we change this to five, it will be a match. We do that, that doesn't match, but we do that, it matches. Ah, oh, that feels so good. There are also a bunch of other features too, including forums, screencasts, and guides for specific concepts. So if you're interested, it would help me out a huge amount if you could check out the link in the description below. All right, back to C++. Okay, so I thought I'd walk you through the code for the two projects I worked on when I was learning C++. So this is the first one. Now, look at this fucking make file, right? It's things like this that make me think maybe C++ isn't the best language for everything. I know there's CMake and that makes things a little bit easier, but it's still not easy. For high level projects that you just want to work, this is kind of ridiculous. And that's just to get STL working. And I also had to like paste in a bunch of files just to get it linking correctly. It's kind of crazy. I think deep down, I am somebody who prefers object-oriented programming over other paradigms. I like just being able to encapsulate everything, separate it out, and abstract the functionality to all you need to see. And then if you want to dig deeper, you just go into the class, look at the definition, look in the file and find out what it does. I don't really know what's going on here, but this code here just so happens to separate the, the bulbs equally. I don't really know how I figured out this math. Like I was like timesing the circle radius by 1.5. Like I don't, I don't know what that does. It looks all right, so we're not gonna worry about it. But yeah, like if I were to write this in Rust, I think that the Rust code wouldn't look as nice. It would be a lot less elegant. Now. This isn't a pro C++ over Rust video. Rust is awesome and it has its own great traits. It's just really nice to be able to be free in a language like C++. And I feel like I'm making decisions more for myself rather than the compiler making decisions for me. Which arguably is a terrible idea because I make terrible decisions, but... This is the code for the grep challenge itself. Now, I do like the header files because again, it's really nice to have the class definition all sorted in here and then the actual implementation in here because it just, it separates them out nicely and it forces you to look at the header file first before the code, which I think gives you a better understanding of what's actually going on. Rather than having to look at each and every implementation and look and see, oh, this does this, this does this, etc. One thing I don't like about header files is the fact that you have to type out these ma definitions manually. Um, there might be tools available to actually prevent you having to do that but it's a tiny little thing. I found that for this higher level project, modern C++ really isn't that different to high level languages like C Sharp. In fact, I didn't have to use a single pointer. I just used references instead when I was passing data around. Okay, that's enough praise for C++. Here's some things I didn't like about the language. Firstly, some of the error messages are kind of ridiculous. This is especially the case for type errors. What the fuck does this even mean? This is the thing with C++ errors. This makes no sense. 
whatsoever. I don't- this doesn't mean anything to me. I can understand why it's like this, however, it would be nice if things were just a bit more straightforward. In fairness though, type errors and generics in most languages are a pain in the ass. Libraries obviously aren't great either. For higher level projects where you just want stuff to work, this is a real big turnoff and is probably the reason I wouldn't choose C++ for a lot of projects. With that said, when working on bare bones projects like embedded systems and compilers, this actually makes a lot of sense and it gives you a lot of control over the binary. Also, libraries are meant to be much easier to work with on Linux and I've been using Windows, so on Linux it could be a different story. While the undefined behavior is also a thing, I didn't really encounter much of this except for a few times where I was indexing a non-existent value in an array. I'm sure this would have been much of a bigger problem when doing proper memory management, however. It would be nice, for example, if the debug build included some more descriptive runtime errors and the production build had just undefined behavior. Anyway, that's my first impressions of C++, and I'm sure there is a lot more to the language that I haven't touched upon. Be sure to check out CodeCrafter's awesome platform in the description, and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. See you soon.